Dear students and friends, welcome back for my session on PLC in 21 days. We are on day 5. In this day 5, we will see about the one product I developed using PLC, the developing of a napkin vending machine, a product vending machine. It can be a napkin or any other product. Okay. So, you look at it, have an idea. So, you can not only duplicate this particular thing based on this logic you can develop any type of uh, solid part vending machine actually the main items used in this particular project are one coin acceptor it is of 12 volt dc type one number 14 mr pc as usual a 12 vdc 10 rpm small motor the cost may be somewhere between 200 to 300 rupees a magnetic proximity switch, a potential free switch, a spring on which only uh, the, the spring is connected with the the motor, the 10 rpm small motor. Okay, so the napkins will be stacked over the spring only. Okay, so for every one rotation, one napkin will be dispensed, pushed out, and other parts, acrylic sheet uh, and other uh, things uh, for making this assembly. Now, the I used two inputs, maybe four or uh, three outputs. X0 is the coin input. The coin input has been programmed for a brass 5 rupee coin. Okay. Then X1, a, max, a magnetic proximity sensor that works as a stopper. That is also an input. Y0, motor output the 12 volt DC small motor 10 rpm motor the Y1 after the dispensing over the, this LED will be flash flashing that reminds you that the product is dispensed you can take it out then I used one more uh, output Y2 uh, maybe uh, it is to cut the power to the acceptor coin acceptor actually not the motor power connection to coin acceptor because uh, once the coin is in, uh, inserted this uh, uh, to complete this cycle it takes uh, maybe uh, three to six uh, three to six or seven seconds in that time uh, the user should not insert a, a another coin okay even by mistake uh, if he puts another coin uh, it, it, it won't uh, go to the collection bin it will be returned back actually so that is why uh, once the uh, coin input is sensed by x0 immediately the power will be cut to the coin acceptor because to protect the user not to waste his coin so that is the idea right now this is the program Okay, before the program in AutoCAD, I, I in AutoCAD I will be show this is the PLC board, actual PLC board. Uh, let me zoom this one now. This is how it will look. So I used there are eight uh, inputs, but I used X0 and X1. X0, uh, this is the screw point. So uh, in the coin acceptor, there will be a, a the, there will be there will be a uh, there will be a wire okay apart from uh, supplying the power to the con acceptor yeah, 0 and 12 volt uh, two wires are there the third wire may be you have to insert here okay then you have to set the uh, uh, there is a setting in the con acceptor you have to set one particular switch to NO normally open so once the coin is accepted one signal you will get it okay so that wire you connect it to x0 the x1 is used for the magnetic proximity sensor by a potential free type one end to be connected to 0 volt the other end connected to x1 that's it then come to this side the y0 what is y0 yes y0 is motor you know so of course you will be a 12 volt uh, smps from 12 volt and xmps connect the negative 0 volt directly to one wire of the motor one there are two wires in the motor 12 volt motor a black wire and a red wire okay so 
uh, may be black wire connected directly to the zero volt power supply the 12 volt you connect it to co first because this switch only will be switching the 12, uh, 12 volt motor this y0 to be connected to the other red wire in the uh, motor okay so that is a connection the same way what is y1 led blinking so led blinking um, led is again uh, 0 and plus 12 0 directly connected to smps uh, plus 1 take it through y1 similarly for the con acceptor power supply the 12 volt power supply should be through y2 actually so this is the logic so yeah so he, these are the two points to power the plc okay a, a 0 volt and either 12 volt or 24 volt you have to give so we will be using x0 x1 two inputs y0 y1 y2 three outputs y0 for switching on the motor y0 y1 led blinking led light y2 powering the kind acceptor unit okay then uh, i am moving towards uh, industry 4.0 that is why what i do is uh, 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 i let me show this particular thing see a postscript i learned this uh, solid i am doing concurrently i am doing uh, solid session plc session arduino program i learned all these things uh, not for pure academic purpose of course academic is also important and basically professor so but i want to develop some products okay with that in mind only i learned solid works learned plc now i started learning arduino also so i am uh, conducting the sessions on all three okay so if you see all these projects the SOLIDWORKS and PLC will be mixed together either or the SOLIDWORKS and Arduino may be mixed together. Okay. Nothing is standalone. Nothing is standalone. So I am I'm, I'm moving towards uh, industry 4.0. Right. Yes. If you learn all these things, uh, you can do really uh, real wonders. Okay. Tomorrow I will show you uh, one product. Okay. Uh, it is a real uh, 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 commercial product. Okay, it is modeled in SOLIDWORKS, uh, automated uh, using PLC. Okay, that can be automated through Arduino also. Okay, that time I do not know uh, the Arduino. Okay, now let us see. Let us uh, see the. Where is it? So this is the spring unit. Let me play this one. Oh, it's not playing. So this is the coin acceptor. A power switch these are the different stages and uh, you see this the dispensing unit so for one rotation this is the motor 12 volt motor for one rotation this will be moving linearly this side or that side so uh, uh, type of rotation is also important if it moves uh, from this point of view if it moves uh, anti-clockwise i think this will be moving this way otherwise this will move that way so that polarity you have to check so this is the entire setup uh, you see this is the coin acceptor coin collection tray a motor is uh, a motor is also visible yes the motor is also visible and this is the plc board then you see the red wire uh, the orange wire i kept uh, the the sensor here actually stopper sensor yeah, there is a small uh, magnet uh, neodymium magnet i used because th this magnet uh, uh, field will be sensed by this one it is mainly required that this has uh, made one rotation okay so this is the power unit uh, smps to power the plc board kind acceptor motor so on so this is the entire setup different views the napkin is also kept here four napkins again different view this is the top view 
so in the top view i think uh, you can see the plc somehow clearly right the motor spring in the spring uh, there are uh, only four uh, napkins uh, kept here actually you can keep four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen napkins at a time you can put it so instead of napkin you can put uh, Kit Kat uh, chocolate or uh, dairy milk chocolate so for that this this spacing and this pitch you should alter one otherwise uh, you need not uh, change any any coding in the Arduino uh, sorry PLC so you can see the LED strip I kept here okay now before that we will see the program so this is the program okay uh, the program i will give it in the description in the uh, can be obtained uh, from the link available in the description so x0 is the coin input once the coin input is sensed uh, the program will start running okay it will run till the stopper sensor magnetic sensor pro magnetic proximity sensor is sensed once the magnetic proximity sensor is sensed then the the cycle will be stopped okay so this uh, may be the uh, sequences for led blinking the led uh, immediately after that by the time the uh, the product will be dispensed led will blink three times so this is the output activation once the uh, coin is sensed inserted this motor y0 is the 12 volt dc motor start rotating till it is uh, sensed by the stop sensor the magnetic proximity sensor after that the product will be blinking three times that is m13 bl one blink m15 one blink m17 one blink uh, over and above that i gave this as an additional protection actually this i did it on my own okay so uh, the moment uh, the the coin is inserted the power to the coin acceptor will be stopped so even knowingly unknowingly uh, the user cannot uh, insert another coin actually okay there is one thing the other thing is the coin accept this is the program then we will see the description again so i said already the working procedure the coin acceptor is programmed for 5 rupee brass coin okay uh, there are uh, two types of coins available in indian um, currency one is uh, metal uh, uh, 5 rupee coin it is slightly thicker um, other one is uh, brass coin i i programmed it uh, in for the brass coin only so other than 5 rupee by brass coin if you insert this will not run this will not accept of course you can get back the coins actually okay then once the coin is inserted the 12 volt dc motor will start rotating it is programmed for 1.5 rotation actually one rotation should be there uh, since i am not using stepper motor here okay so uh, some buffer i have given this will be corrected by the magnetic sensor of course okay even after uh, stopping the motor because of the inertia uh, it will start uh, for about uh, uh, one twelfth of the rotation or so okay but everything will be taken into account okay so product development is uh, not uh, that easy but not difficult also so learn through how it behaves learn through mistakes so mistakes definitely will happen so we have to learn through mistakes actually okay so once the kind is inserted 12 volt dc motor will start rotating but it has to be stopped at either at uh, one rotation or once the product is dispensed so that is why i kept the magnetic sensor so magnetic sensor is sensed for that only the magnetic sensor is kept once the sensor senses the signal the power to the motor is stopped by the time the na one napkin would have been dispensed and the setup is ready for the next cycle now we will see the mechanical uh, model that i developed uh, in solidworks I said already no so I am not uh, uh, keeping all those uh, things uh, separately okay I want to integrate all the 
the technologies that is available with us that I learnt. Okay, so I generally use uh, SolidWorks for developing the product. Then uh, for the electronics part, programming the uh, the automation part. Uh, previously, I exclusively used PLC. Okay, uh, now I slowly uh, uh, tr trying to venture in Arduino also. But in my view, still uh, PLC is still powerful. Again and again, I am reiterating because uh, uh, you may think that uh, PLC is a old one. Okay, again I repeat, old or new or beautiful are not so important. Okay, what is powerful? That is important. In my view, PLC is powerful still. Okay, Arduino is also powerful, but uh, even uh, developing a coding and uh, uh, it is not uh, sometimes uh, because of the leakage current and all, it takes the uh, uh, signals unwantedly. So I, I experienced a lot. Okay, so from that aspect, uh, PLC is still best. That is why even all automation, the Chinese uh, they have uh, they, they have grown like they have grown like they have grown like anything. It is mainly because of the automation. It is mainly because of the uh, PLC. I could say, right? So let me show you the model. So these are the uh, different uh, things I inserted. So this is the model. Let me stop. Then this is the dispensing part alone. The once the spring is uh, rotated, the motor uh, motor rotates, the spring will be rotating. But uh, this uh, it, it should move actually. But uh, I am not able to include that uh, feature in this particular one. So we will see that how it works. Now coin is inserted. We are about to insert the coin. You see that and start rotating. Napkin is dispensed. Light is blinking. Once again, I repeat. Coin inserted. Motor starts rotates. One napkin dispensed. Okay, as the thing will show. So I inserted three different coins, right? So this is how you I developed this product actually, right? Let me see any more diagrams are available okay so that's it so this is the program so the yes, entire content is available to with you right uh, right from the day five so I this file will be available to you as a PDF file okay as uh, in the link provided in the description okay thank you happy learning stay safe